and welcome to my academy today I'll be teaching you about uh, not teaching exactly again I would say this, these are the short notes that you can have a note on it and uh, these will help you during your exam so we'll be discussing about the vectors and uh, first point it says suppose you have a, a vector is collinear to B vector that means either they are parallel or they are anti parallel okay I'm sorry for writing this wrong because uh, uh, there are lots of like, I, I feel really difficult to write on my laptop so I hope you can understand okay so it says that a vector if it is parallel then definitely a vector can be as lambda times b vector which can further be subduced as this plus here you can bring it to the left side b wala part and then you can see such that x plus y is equals to zero okay second point second point says if not collinear if not collinear then what will happen if not collinear then this will definitely exist okay then in that case x should be equal to y should be equal to zero third point third one is if you want to make collinearity of three vectors so how you're gonna do it if you are asked to if you are asked to make three vectors collinear how will you do that we, we take scalar triple product for that scalar triple product for it and it says a vector b vector c vector equal to zero I'll tell you what is STB in further notes okay fourth point fourth point says that um, uh, linearly dependent then if all three vectors all the three I would say A B C are linearly linearly dependent this is another category these things you will find in your exam papers so in that case standard triple product is equal to again zero and what is standard triple product of ABC it is a vector the first vector cross product with the second vector and the whole result is taken as a dot product with the third vector this is the order that you follow fifth point fifth point is very easy linearly independent if they are linearly who are they are here there are three vectors okay are linearly independent independent okay independent then standard triple product is never equal to zero this is most important point that students don't know okay now I'll be moving to sixth point sixth point what is if when you write a b vector what does that mean that means position vector vector of b point minus position vector of a point I hope it's clear what does this mean okay seventh point seventh point is very easy suppose you have origin here you have a point here and a point here so you can join them okay obviously this will be your first vector you're marking it is as uh, a and this is gonna be your B vector and supposedly there's some point here which is C okay and that point is connected here mm, and it's dividing this whole ratio in M is to N ratio this C point is dividing AB 
in ms to n ratio then what will happen you just have to uh, keep in mind that you need to cross it over this as here and this will go as here so what will be the value you can use this is just the formula that you need to remember in exam m times this m times ob vector m times ob vector plus n times n times OA vector and uh, that will be equal to sum of the two times the central vector that is OC vector this is how we remember the formula there should be some trick now it's time for our eighth number eighth point is very simple it says if alpha is a vector which is equal to x1 times a vector y1 times b vector z1 times c vector okay and there's another vector which is beta which can be written as again x1 okay but i'll tell you what are x1 x2 okay times a vector plus y2 times b vector z2 times c vector and there's another vector that is gamma vector and if it is equal to x3 times a vector, y3 times b vector, and z3 times c vector. So what can you derive from here? We can derive, this one point, that you can derive from here, this alpha, beta, gamma, scalar triple product of the three, alpha, beta, gamma, these are vectors. Taking their scalar triple product, it will be equal to modulus all the coefficients. Of A B C X one, X two, X three, Y one, Y two, Y three, Z three, Z two, Z one. Or less it should be again multiplied by the scalar triple product of all the three smaller vectors of its components of alpha, beta and gamma. This is the formula that you need to remember for exams. Okay. Time for our ninth formula ninth formula says always follow this method for angle bisector concept remember this is angle bisector concepts this you should remember for angle bisector concept okay what does this mean suppose you have a vector you have another b vector remember these are not perpendicular just i'm showing it like this and the result and there is another vector which is c vector it's not the result okay let's see with the angle bisector of a and b vector okay c is the angle c is the angle bisector of a vector and b vector and remember it is internal bisector what is internal external it is dividing the acute angle between a and b vectors this side not the x not the this angle okay we'll, con uh, we'll consider only acute angle not the obtuse angle okay then c vector is equal to lambda times a unit vector b times plus b unit vector is equal to lambda times what is what is the definition of unit vector it is vector upon its modulus vector upon its modulus okay so you can derive it from here that c vector is equal to lambda times k1 i cap k2 j cap k3 k cap divided by k this is this you'll find on solving above okay so we reached the here, then you got another thing that is C modulus. If you take it, you get plus minus of lambda by k. If you are taking modulus of it, then it will be k1 square, k2 square, and k3 squares taken all together. So you get this. Okay, this was the ninth point. Let's come to tenth. Okay, what is tenth point? Let's see. Tenth point says again it's based on angle bisector okay we are considering here if c vector is angle 
by sector then follow this method okay hmm. it says if there is a vector a vector b vector another vector that is c vector okay joining all of them together you'll find let's mark these points first then you'll say that uh, a b vector is equal to lambda times a c vector this is valid here this a b vector is lambda times a c vector because both of them are collinear collinear means parallel or anti parallel okay so a b vector let's derive it in the form of position vectors you'll get this lambda times b minus a vector this is uh, this is what i've done is I've just termed it out as in uh, position vector form. Okay, this is what you can use in your exams. Okay, next, next point is on projections. Okay, the formula is projection of any vector a on another vector b vector is equal to that vector whose projection is being taken on this unit vector of the other vector. This is just the formula that you need to remember. It should be equal to this vector vector upon b vector mod. Okay. Hmm. And if I ask you projection vector of a vector on b vector in another form, then how will you write that? Now this was the projection. This was just the magnitude. Okay. Now you are asked to write projection vector. Okay. Of a vector on b vector. Now they are asking about the direction. So you've got this value, this is correct, and you need to multiply by this the unit vector in that direction because direction will be of B on B vector. Suppose this is your A vector, this is a B vector. You want A vector's uh, projection on A. So let's take the projection to come to this side. Okay. So this is just multiplication with B unit vector. Okay. So you'll find it as A vector dot B vector whole divided by b vector mod square okay b uh, below it is b vector mod square into your b vector okay this is what you'll find this is b vector okay at the bottom okay now the last point uh, of this video and for other points you'll have to see my next video okay so it says let's take an example okay it says uh, if you have uh, r vector dot of a unit vector is 2 where they have given that r vector is lambda times i cap comma sorry for this comma a unit vector is 2 i cap okay this is unit vector symbol then what will be the value of 2 lambda how will you calculate that? Okay, so let's multiply R into A unit vector. You will get lambda into 2. So will you make it as 2? No, this is not done. When you are multiplying two vectors or taking the dot product, you will have to take mod here. Take, take modulus always. This is must point. So this is end of this video, please watch my another video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.